Breaking news, Javante Davis gave his reaction to Floyd Mayweather the comments of divide and conquer when it came to his response to Tang's jealousy claims. Javante Davis stated, quote, It was some light shit what you did, but the meaning was deep. Even as a chief, you get respect after burning your beef. Hashtag the one, May 28th. End of the quote. In addition to that, Tank said, quote, We expose fake, hating, and the B-word ish. The real will always rise. Go. End of the quote. It almost seems like people can never separate on good terms. Now, first of all, like I said before, it did not make sense for Floyd Mayweather to host his press conference the same day as Tank vs. Rowley press conference. I mean, it's only natural for Tank to get mad at that. Even if Floyd was paid a million dollars to host the press conference on that day, that million didn't go to Tank's pocket. So of course he's gonna get mad. But there's a cause and an effect when it comes to everything. The fact that Tank let the world know that his contract with Floyd Mayweather is up after the Rowley fight, I automatically knew Floyd wasn't gonna show up to Tank's press conference. Why should he? If Tank is letting the world know, he's leaving. Now if Tank kept it cordial, is one thing, but Tank let the world know he's saying bye-bye to TMT. Now, I'm not saying Floyd Mayweather is right or wrong. I'm just saying there's a cause and an effect. However, when it came to the jealous comments, that didn't have any way behind it. Floyd is the GOAT. Even at 45 years old, he's still receiving more money than Javante Davis, and that's not a knock on Tank because Floyd is still receiving more attention and has more star power than Canelo Alvarez. People lie, men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. And last year, Floyd Mayweather outsold Canelo Alvarez when it came to pay-per-view. And like I broke it down on my last video, which I'ma leave the link for that video in the comment section below. If we are being truthful, Javante Davis is not gonna surpass Mayweather when it comes to anything. And that's not a knock on Tank because Floyd is the Michael Jordan of boxing. We all know if Floyd Mayweather was in Javante Davis' shoes, he would have had to fall Vasily Lomachenko in a heartbeat back when ESPN was erasing Lomachenko losses and promoting him as pound for pound number one. That's the reason why Floyd wanted Javante to fight Lomachenko. Not because it was a setup, but because Floyd knew how that would have catapulted Javante Davis' career. But Javante doesn't have the greatness taking risk factor, the discipline, hard work, and dedication that Floyd Mayweather had. In our reality, for Javante to come close or surpassing Floyd Mayweather, he has to beat Lomachenko, Shakur, Devin Haney, Bruce Carrington, Teofimo Lopez, Josh Taylor, Ryan Garcia, Keyshawn Davis, so on and so forth, in order to get on that pedestal. But when Tank let Lomachenko go and Gary Russell play with his name, that's going to be extremely hard to do, impossible to do. You can't just be the one without beating everyone. You literally have to go through everyone to become the one. That's what Floyd Mayweather had to do. So how is Floyd going to be jealous of Tank when Tank haven't even came close to accomplishing anything Floyd Mayweather accomplished? When Floyd Mayweather was Javante Davis' age, back then, old media couldn't stand Floyd. However, even they labeled Floyd as the undisputed pound for pound number one king even though they did not want to, but they were forced to. That's how much Floyd Mayweather separated himself from all of the competition, from Manny Pacman Pacquiao, Oscar De La Hoya, Shigashane Mosley, Hopkins, Andre Ward, so on and so forth. Now, if you compare that to Javante Davis today, old media doesn't even have Javante on the top 10 pound for pound. Old media doesn't even rank Javante on the top 10 pound for pound. So, what is Floyd Mayweather being jealous for again? Old media doesn't even rank Javante. Now, it's one thing if Javante knocked out Lomachenko, and now he's being praised as the number one king, they comparing him to Floyd Mayweather, so on and so forth. But that's literally not the case. So again, what would Floyd Mayweather be jealous of? This is so crazy because we had the same conversation with Deontay Wilder. They convinced Deontay Wilder that Floyd Mayweather was jealous of him. Wilder even questioned Floyd Mayweather when Floyd offered to train Deontay Wilder when Tyson Fury knocked him out or when Mark Kriegel stopped the fight. Wilder said, 
Floyd Mayweather is jealous. He's doing this for attention. Why he never offered to train him before when he was knocking everyone out. Why he's offering to train him now when Tyson Fury knocked him out. Completely disregarding if it's not broke, don't fix it. Now think about it for a second. That's equivalence of Deontay Wilder telling Floyd Mayweather. Why are you only offering me money now when I'm broke? But when I was a millionaire, you didn't offer me any money to help. Now, even though that's self-explanatory, I'm going to further explain so you guys don't miss the point. Floyd is going to respond with, well, you was a millionaire. You didn't need help. That's why. Just like Wilder didn't need help when he was knocking everyone out, but he needed help when Tyson Fury stopped him. But you guys have to realize Deontay Wilder did not come to that conclusion on his own. He was manipulated. He was brainwashed by people that was whispering in his ear, just like Javante, I believe, since a lot of what they said did not really add up. But that's exactly what these instigators do. Like Floyd Mayweather said, divide and conquer, cause division instead of union. That's the devil's greatest weapon. Last but not least, Javante Davis' contract is up after the Roley fight, so we shall see how far Tank is willing to blast and the risks he's willing to take once he leaves Floyd Mayweather. We all witnessed Devin Haney set the bar really high. He changed Vasil Lomachenko's last name to Nomachenko and forced Lomachenko to give up his belt like a fake champion. Back when Devin Haney was Lomachenko mandatory at 20 years old, Devin Haney also caught Gary Russell Bluff and put a curse on Teofimo Lopez, then went on to fight Gamboa, Linares, and Jojo. Now he's fighting for undisputed against Combosis at only 23 years old, taking risks, low ball deals, so on and so forth. This is the pretty boy green print. This is what pretty boy had to go through in order to get to the money made stage, which is exactly what Shakur and Devin Haney are doing today. Next thing you know, Devin Haney is going to surpass Javante Davis. In fact, Devin Haney at 23 years old this year, once he becomes undisputed against Combosis, he's without a doubt will surpass Javante Davis already. That's why I said Devin Haney set the bar really high for everyone to follow where Javante was the one that had all of these opportunities first. However, he let him slip and Devin Haney came in and captured the moment. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace and I'm on to the next one.